Matty Lester and the Boardman Spartans, they get the win last night, 6-1 to one over Gerard to open the season. We're going to be joined by Matty on Running Point. Matty, thank you so much for taking the time to join us. Thank you for having me. Let's go over this uh, this game last night, too. I mean, great start to the season, able to get that uh, that opening victory. Uh, just talk to me about the feeling of getting back out there on the softball field and just the excitement of getting out there uh, again this season. Honestly, it was great. I was so glad to be back outside, just let alone being on dirt instead of like a gym floor. And being outside was awesome. It was our first last senior home or home game. So it was really nice. I think that we did very well for our first game and I'm ready to have a season to keep playing. When you look at uh, the, the senior season that you're looking at and, and some of the goals that you have for this season, uh, what personal goals have you set for yourself so far this year? I would love to make it as far as we possibly can this year. I think that we have a very strong lineup. We have an incredible defense. Um, I'm really excited to just have my last senior year. I want to have fun. Like I want it to just be a lot of fun for everybody. I mean, in all seriousness, though, this was a victory, too, and it's all uh, good fun to get a victory to start the season. Uh, what were some things, being just one of the uh, one of the leaders of this team, that you're telling some of the younger girls that are going through their first opening day at a varsity level, too? A big part of it is don't be nervous. Don't let it get to you. Like, you've been playing softball since you were – since almost all of us were little kids – just because it's a first game, like don't let it get in your head. You really just got to still enjoy it. You want to have your, you want to have a lot of fun. You want to have the best time out there. Don't get in your head because then you start getting nervous. Things start getting to you. We all play as a team, so whatever happens, it's as a team. All right, Maddie, let's talk about your mindset in the circle for your senior year. Uh, talk about what it's like, kind of stepping in there, knowing that every time you do, it's kind of like the last time you play this team, last time you go up against this lineup. What's it like kind of knowing that everything you do is going to be the last time you do it? Um, it's it's sad, but I mean, I love the sport. I want it I want to play as long as I can. I'm going to college for softball, so I'm kind of using this as still building, still getting stronger, still getting better. Still play your hardest every time you go out there and enjoy every game you can because it really does go by so fast. Like it's crazy that it's senior year already. Wanted to give you that chance to break the news too. Why don't you? Uh, why don't you let everyone know that may not know where you're going to be playing at the next level too, and where they could catch you after this. Uh, this <laughs> I'm committed to Cal U, California University in Pennsylvania. I'm really excited about it. A lot to be excited about be- with that too. I mean, we got to ask too. I mean. Cal U, that's a, I feel like it's a pretty easy choice to go out west, but I mean, what made it so easy for you to Pennsylvania choose? Uh, tie. Pennsylvania tie. Uh, <laughs> well, a really big part of it is my family is so huge in supporting me and my coaches. Like, I don't want to be too far away. I don't want to leave. I want to be able to still come home and see my family. I don't, I don't know. I don't want it to be like super long periods of time where I don't get to see them and they come to everything. They're so supportive. So I still want to have that chance to be able to see them all the time. And I also really like the coaches there. They're really cool. They're really fun. I love the campus. I even did an overnight with the team and it was, it was a lot of fun. It just kind of felt like home to me. That's why the Cal U of Pennsylvania is so important. So we know that we're not going all the way out West and you're not going all the way to the beach. Although in days like today, it might be nice to be going somewhere where you're at the beach. Yeah, right. Uh, Well, for spring break, we'll be doing that this year. Yeah, let's talk about this trip that you're going to go on for spring break and how excited (laughs) you are to do it. I know it's been a minute like you couldn't do it last year because of the craziness and everything. And obviously 2020, you didn't even play. So what's it like to kind of get back to this team bonding exercise and and, and to get to travel with your team and, and go play in the beach? I think it's awesome. I think it is so much fun. And a huge part of this is the amount of seniors we have. And 
we've all kind of grown up together. We've been playing softball since, again, we were little kids. A lot of us played at BCB together, and we've just grown up. And to be able to bond and have this senior year together, and now we get to have this trip together where we'll be together for a whole week all day and we get to travel and we travel to a bunch of different high schools while we're down in Florida, actually. So that'll be a lot of fun for us too. Getting some love from some coaches in the AAC, as you can see in the comments yep. there. Steven Ward says, <laughs> Congratulations on the first win. Thank you. <laughs> competing in this, uh, competing in this AAC too. I think there's no doubt that you guys bring a very good team in this year. Talk to me just about the excitement of having as many seniors as you do on this squad. Doesn't feel like this happens too often in the softball realm. It definitely doesn't. Like I haven't. We in my past three years before this, we've never had that many seniors. So I almost feel like it's a big advantage. Like we've played together four years now. I feel like we've built that bond that connection, those strengths, like we just understand each other. And we've all been playing in the field this whole time for a long time now. It's not like we're kind of starting over yet. Maddie, got to ask, because you're just as good of a hitter as you are a pitcher. What uh, what in, what do you enjoy more, a big time strikeout or you come to the plate, big situation, and it's a home run over the fence and you get to round it? That plates. is such a hard question because I feel like it's whatever you need more in this situation because sometimes, say, like, it could be a walk-off. That could be the best moment of the game. Or say you you have the tying and winning run on bases and you get that third strikeout. Like, I feel like that's just as important, just as valuable. And you're someone that could do both in the same game. So. <laughs> yeah. That I like is- the pressure. <laughs> I really like asking this question to a lot of these these players that have kind of gone through that. And you mentioned, and we've mentioned the 2020 season and not having that that season to play into. And it, it, your, your class and only a few select group will have that experience as something unique to them and to, unique to their high school experience. So talk to me during, during that time, what you kind of did to try to stay motivated to and how you kind of uh, adjusted trying to be a leader and adjust to trying to, you know, keep yourself in the softball realm while there's no softball going on. Um, a big part of it was I would just like ask my mom, like, Hey, can we go hit at my building or Hey, who wants to go outside and just play catch for a bit? A lot of it too was travel was still taking place. Travel was still normal. It felt like the only normal part of COVID, which I was so thankful for because I would have lost my mind without anything. But a big part of it was just I still kept my head in the game. I still was staying active with the sport, and I didn't let it get to me. I mean, it really sucked not having a season. That was really sad. It was devastating. And it's really hard to lose a whole year and have to come back and recover. But I feel like we're doing very well with it. I feel like our preseason and our practices were going great, and I'm very excited to recover from it. I think we're going to have a great year this season. Maddie, who have been some of your role models in this long softball journey that you've had playing since you were little? I'm sure you've looked up to a lot of people in that span of time. Uh, if you had to pick out some people that have really stuck out as role models for you throughout the journey, what names come to mind? Uh, like players or anybody? You can pick anybody you want. Um, I've uh, Maybe my coaches. I feel like a lot of the time you might lose confidence in yourself and you just, you start getting in your head, things don't go your way. And to have a coach come up to you and tell you like, Hey, like it happens. Like, it's just a game. You just got to move on. You got to keep working. And there's always like the next chance you have a bad at bat. You got to move on. You throw a bad pitch. Like I'm always told you like short-term memory, you got to move on. And a lot of those people would be like Bob Smith and, Marco Marinucci and Fred Moots, Dave Matt, my my own family. My parents are a huge part in that too. My grandpa was actually the first person that started catching me when I was 10 years old. And I don't know, I just feel like I have such an incredible support system and I'm so thankful for them. And to have my family come to everything is really awesome and I couldn't be more thankful for it. I got to ask this too. I mean, just looking at looking at this season and looking what, at what you've been able to uh, to accomplish, what are some things that you've taken from uh, from your coaches that you find yourself using in maybe your day-to-day life? And, you know, maybe something they're coaching you on the softball field or maybe a saying that they're, they're telling you. Do you find yourself uh, 
translating that softball coaching into your actual day-to-day life? Um, I do feel like softball has built onto a big part of my life. Um, softball's like a lot more phys- like it's not just a physical game. It's a lot mentally. It's a lot of just keeping out of your head and really focusing on the goal. You can't let certain things hold you back. And I feel like it has made me a much stronger person mentally as well. I feel like it's really helped me build a lot of relationships and like lifelong friendships with a lot of teammates and players being surrounded by softball my whole life has really, it's really built like a characteristic. It builds a personality. Maddie, you got any uh, softball superstitions that you have to stick to in that circle or, or it's going to throw off your <laughs> whole routine? Um, I'm not too crazy about that. A big thing for travel is we always step on third base. It's uh, like on my team with Bob Smith, we all step on third base and it's kind of a thing saying, I will, I will give a hundred percent. I will do my best. Like I will be here for my team. It's not so much like, personal it's like a team thing like i will fight for everybody here i gotta ask you too when you're in that circle i mean there's no doubt in the in the realm of of softball that everything depends on you i mean the the game the flow it all flows through you when when there's those moments and we talked about it runners at second and third game tying run game winning run whatever getting those big strikeouts what are some things you're doing to kind of compose yourself too and stay within that moment and keep yourself not let that, I guess, moment. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, like you talk about superstitions, it might not totally be a superstition, but it's almost a walkthrough, like walking to the end of the circle, just trying to calm down. Like don't literally do not get in your head. Like don't let it get to you. I almost thrive off of the pressure. I almost feel like it makes me do better. But at the same time, you really got to make sure you don't get in your head. You just got to calm down. You got to keep doing what you're doing, do what you know how to do. And I don't know. You just got to work with it. You got to make sure you got a team behind you. Maddie, we're so glad that you were able to join us today and talk about this senior season. Last ride here on Boardman. We know you're going to make it special. We can't wait to cover you all year. And uh, we know that we'll talk to you again real soon. Awesome. Thank you so much for having me.